Gout is a form of inflammatory arthritis that is caused by deposition of uric acid in the joints. Elevated uric acid in the blood is the main problem, which is called hyperuricemia. Hyperuricemia is either caused by elevated uh, production of uric acid in the body or by impaired ability of the kidneys to basically get rid of uric acid from the body. The uric acid ultimately uh, builds up uh, in joints and is deposited in joints because of the cooler temperatures there uh, facilitates formation of uric acid crystals uh, in these joints. And ultimately, uric acid can trigger uh, white blood cells to cause acute inflammation, which leads to the inflammatory arthritis. Although it's commonly uh, thought to be a rich man's disease, gout can occur uh, really in all people independent of uh, how much money they have um, or their uh, particular uh, gender or uh, uh, racial class. Gout is caused both by genetic predisposition on one hand, but also by our lifestyle and the foods that we eat. Uh, people who uh, eat foods that increase the uric acid concentration in the body, such as uh, meat, organ meats, um, people who drink uh, alcohol, beer, um, or spirits, and uh, people who take certain medications or have certain medical factors can certainly develop gout. And really, this uh, disease can affect uh, people of all ages, ultimately. We see increasingly people who are uh, getting uh, older or, or, or who are already elderly who are at risk of gout. And it sometimes can mimic other kinds of arthritis and make it very difficult to recognize, such as rheumatoid arthritis or even osteoarthritis. Um, so really, although there are a lot of misconceptions about who is at risk for gout, we need to think about all people potentially at risk and try to um, modify our lifestyle and, and activities and foods that we eat to decrease the risk of getting gout and ultimately to alleviate, alleviate the suffering that gout causes for many people around the world.